Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play XCOM Long War. We have a crashed UFO to go after, a uh, Sun Sky Ranger, and I'll just give me a second to put together my team. Alright, our team will consist of our gunner will be Morales, Frazier as our engineer, uh, Vicente as our assault, and I'm a little concerned with assaults because uh, we have four total assaults, three of them right now are in the med bay. Uh, one gets out in two days, but the others I think were a little more severe. Uh, Mizuzi is our sniper, and we had two rookies joining us on this mission, uh, Sinsenwar, Sinsenwar, and Huerta. Sinsenwar, since he was the first rookie I picked, he has the honor of carrying the motion tracker. Uh, and Huerta is our extra flashbang. I just realized we actually have a lot of flashbangs. Hang on, I forgot to gear up these people. That's better. Launch mission. Alright, now I don't know if I've said this before, but I don't really like crashed UFO missions. Not because I... It's not that I don't like them, it's just that I don't like the creeping around looking for all the pods. Because we do want to fight these other pods uh, before we actually storm the UFO. Uh, so I'm going to run over here. I'm not going to use the motion tracker just yet. Sin and Soir, you're going to... Yeah, I think we're going to pull right. Um, Alright, let's get the gunner over here. Sniper, do much the same. I might pull you forward and we'll see what happens from there. Uh, don't activate left. Okay. <sighs> this is one thing I really hate about this game is that these ramps are not, uh, they're not cover. They don't count as cover. Uh, and I don't really know why. I really don't know why. This game in general is really buggy with ramps. Like, you can be, like, right here, but if there's, like, a berserker right here, you won't be able to see it. Really, really stupid. Alright, I guess I'll just dash everybody up. It's not really... It's not really smart to dash uh, Vicente up. Oh, Vicente's assault! I, for some reason I had it in my head. I know it's been a while, but I had it in my head that Vicente was an engineer. But, no, Frazier is our engineer for this here mission. Alright. Vicente, move up. And anyone that can, Overwatch. Sin and Suar, you're overwatching. Morales, Huerta. Overwatch is all around. Alright, now, Sinsen War, you are our canary for this mission. Why don't we get a motion tracker out there? Nothing. I'm kind of tempted to dash up. Mm, I, I know we're going to pull if we do that. Alright, do this. Oop. We got contact left. Contact left. Okay. Uh, Mizuzi, you're going to... I hope this doesn't... See, the thing is... Okay, we know there's contact left. Actually, can we get a look at... Okay, there's two pods. They're, like, right here. They're on this hill. I think. I think they're on this hill. Yeah, one might even be... One pod, I think, over here, one on this hill. So, we really want to make sure we're covered. I don't actually... See, I was going to move Mizuzi up to here, but I think we're going to do that last. Um, I don't really want to... I don't want to activate on this turn because Sinsenwar is going to be flanked. So... Gunner can't quite make it over here. All right, Vicente, you're going to get ready to move up to here. Everyone else, uh, this is going to be kind of a wasted turn, just because I I cannot activate right now. To that Gunner. Brazier, you move up to... Wait, that one's cover? That one's cover. I guess it is a little steeper. All right. I'm not sure how the engine actually interprets cover as the thing. Like, I don't know if uh, the developers set what's cover or not, or if it 
uh, conforms to what's placed in the environment. Alright. You're gonna steady weapon. Everybody else, overwatch, and we'll try and activate next turn. Are they gonna patrol into us? Nope. Alright, uh, let's see if we can activate with uh, Vicente. <clears throat> There we go. <coughs> okay, so what we have here is three drones. We actually have uh, some decent chances to hit on uh, Vicente. Um, Zuzi's flanked. He doesn't really have any good chance. Yeah, I am probably going to have to move him, unfortunately. I am going to have to move uh, Mizuzi. I was, I was hoping to be able to just take shots from where he was. That's why I moved up the assault first instead of moving the sniper up to here. Uh, I mean, there is still that other pod, let's not forget. Um, if I move the sniper up to here, we might actually activate more contact. Um, although, now that I think about it, I doubt it because Machenti was able to move up this far. Uh, so let's see what we can do. Frazier. Will you have a better chance to hit if you move up to here? No, you will not. I, I am opening myself up to flanks by moving closer. You might end up suppressing one of these, as dumb as it sounds to suppress a drone. Uh, and what do you got? Just 38 on that guy? Okay. I think you can just take a shot because... Okay. Okay, well, the best shot we have is a 51 on Vicente. So, take that. Oh. You, unfortunately, are going to have to move. Gunner, you can move down to here. And I guess... Which one is in more danger of flanking? Hmm. You're gonna come here. And steady weapon. You're gonna move back to this rock. Will you be able to see over that log? You can see one. Alright, take your 36. Since in war misses. Uh, the, the other rook, Huerta, you're also going to take a hit. Or a shot. Miss. This is gonna be a lame turn. Uh, I'm not going to toss smoke because they're just going to end up in it themselves. Uh, take a shot at that middle guy. Miss. I, I hate flying units, especially in early game. They're not so bad later on once you get laser weapons, but I hate flying units in the early game. Alright, Morales, uh, just suppress this dude. I don't know if Vicente has a close combat specialist. This is a lame turn. You're pulling back? No, you're doing a worthless double move. Oh, I see. You're trying to bait me into that other pod. Alright. I'm probably just going to use this opportunity to uh, reposition. I'm not, I'm not going to take the bait. You're not moving? You're not moving. Okay, well, I'm not taking the bait. Take another 51, Pachenti. There you go. Uh, sniper. Take your 61. Come on, Mizuzi. Nope. Uh, Frazier, you want to take a hit? Nope. Uh, can the rooks see? Neither of the rooks can see. Uh, yeah, Gunner, you go ahead and move up to here, Morales. Still no eyes on that other drone. Okay. Cuerda, you're going to move over to here. You can't see that drone. Hmm. It should be okay if you move to here, Sin and Suar. Yeah, it's okay. Alright, take that 36. One damage. What are you... Did I give you a carbine? No, it's an assault rifle. One damage with that 2DR. That's... Alright, Huerta, you're on Overwatch. Morales, Suppression. 
Suppression that clearly shot it in the face. There goes that dude. Uh, we'll see if our sniper can take him out. Our rooks might actually be in a good position to deal with it, too. He's not going to move. Okay. See, for the longest time, I just assumed that uh, they wouldn't be affected by suppression. I assumed the drones would not be affected by suppression, but apparently they are. Uh, I got 41 on both of these. I'm going to save Mizuzi for now. Uh, Vicente, do you want to take another shot? I don't... Like I said, I'm not moving forward right now. I'm just not. Uh, Sin and Swar, I want to get kills on you. Oh, that DR. And he's out of ammo now. Uh, okay. That thing, I think, is getting ready to move around and flank our rooks. So, Huerta. Do you think you can deal with this, Huerta? No. I really want to get kills on these rookies. I mean, especially early game, it's important to level these people up. Can you suppress again? You can suppress again. And you have a decent chance to hit. Um, okay. Take your chances. If you can get this, you're going to save us a lot of trouble. No. Okay, well, I really need you to take this guy out because he's probably going to try and flank. Mizuzi! Finally stepping up. Nice of you to join us, Mizuzi. And you're going to suppress one more time. This is a horrific engagement for just three drones. And you just hunker. Yeah, he really is scared of that uh, suppression. I mean, unless he's deliberately trying to drain our ammo, which is a possibility. I'm kind of scared to move up. Because a lot of our people need to reload. Take it, 75. You've got to be kidding. Okay, Mizuzi, can you save it? Of course you can't. Alright, uh, I think we might still have one round left in, uh, in Morales. Yes. You're just going to have to take that. Uh, uh, Vicente's going to get hit. Unless I can get an AP out, but I don't think I can. Let's see if I can. And I really don't want to activate that other pod either. Oh, I might actually be able to do something with this. Okay, uh, let's see if I can bounce it off that rock. Go for it. But now we really need this to kill. No DR! Yes! Oh, sure, that does four damage. Your assault rifle won't. Sinensoir actually hit twice during that engagement, but... Hmm. Alright, you're gonna overwatch. You're gonna reload. Next turn, everybody's reloading. We have another pod right there, but thankfully they can't shoot on this turn unless something goes wonky. And that's all we're doing this time, is just moving up and reloading. But we're going to take our moves before we reload, needless to say. You move up. You don't really need to reload, uh, Mizuzi. Uh, over where do you do? I'm worried this might activate. No, you're going to take a reload. Reload. Steady weapon. Uh, gonna move you up, Frazier. <laughs> and, yep, it's gonna be reloads all around. Got sectoids out there. And perfect. Uh, we got two sectoids patrolling in. Hopefully they'll draw some overwatch. No? Okay. <laughs> and would you look at that? We can kill either one we want with Vicente. Hmm. Alright, well we got a nice flank here with, uh, with Sin and Suar, so we're going to try and get a kill on him. I'm worried this might actually be bait, because they've kind of given themselves to us here. Huh. All right, well, Sin and Suar, you move up. We can probably flank with just about everybody right now. All right, go ahead and kill. And Swin and Suar is go uh, Sin and Suar, sorry, is going to level up. Uh, that rook is too far away to get a flank, right? Yep. So sorry. Uh, that's going to be another one for Vicente. Actually, as much as I would love to get that easy assault flank right there, I do sort of want to give it... Mm, 
Yeah, I don't want to take this spot just in case something goes wrong. Because, you know, this four health sectoid, it might not kill. But I do want Frazier to be a sapper. So take that shot. Nice. Oh, I was seven crit. I was worried for nothing. All right, move on up, Morales. Okay, so that's two pods now dealt with. Uh, there's going to be, of course, the Outsider and maybe one more pod. Uh, we've killed five enemies so far. I actually don't remember what... I'm going to have to go check. I don't remember what difficulty I'm playing on. I don't know if this is classic or normal. So that's something to be worried about. Oh, crap. I accidentally overwatched the sniper. He needs to move up. Well, that's all right, because we're going to need a couple of turns to set up anyway. Uh, okay, so obviously we're going to want our assault to be close to the craft. Uh, who has a flashbang? Flashbang. Uh, Fraser, you have a smoke grenade if we need it. Uh, Rookie Huerta, you have a flashbang on you. Urgh. Don't activate, don't activate. Okay. Sin and Soir, what your your job right now is you're going to tell us exactly where that outsider is inside the craft. It's right in there. Ooh, there's Meld. Uh, he's way in the back. That outsider is way in the back. Hopefully he'll come towards us. Move you here. Oh, I really hope I don't activate. That wasn't really smart. I should. You, you really should not take any yellow moves until you've taken all of your blue moves. I'm going to have uh, Gunner close by, just so that uh, they can suppress from the doorway if need be. Because we really do want to, we don't want to let this outsider fire, because these things are super accurate, they do super high damage, it might kill in one hit. I'm on the move. Right, well, it seems like a couple of our guys, it'll kill a Rook in one hit, definitely. Just moving everybody up. Let's get everybody close on this door so that everybody can blue move and shoot. Are you all that's left? Yeah, it looks like you're all that's left. All right, where to get in there? I'm actually going to want to wait. Eh, part of me wants to just rush in there and nab that meld, but that's not smart. And I don't need any more wounded assaults. The meld might actually already be gone anyway. All right, let's get you in that half cover. Uh, you're going to move so that you're... Razor, you're going to move right here. You don't have sapper, so I don't really... The thing is, I don't really have a whole lot of use for non-sapper engineers, except for uh, carrying more AP. But at the same time, I, I kind of want to level them up, you know, so that they can become sappers. All right, Overwatch, 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 Overwatch. Reload, why not, just in case. Eh. I kind of don't like the sound of that. Oh, we lost the meld by one turn. Alright, let's activate. I think there's going to be another pod. And he's moving close. I really wish we had Sapper right about now. Actually, this will probably be a run-and-gun kill if we can get a good AP grenade on him. So, Frazier, why don't you move up? Uh, put an AP out on him. Right there. Two. Two. Who else has AP? I don't want to use your AP, Huerta, because then... I mean, you have a flashbang. Does anybody else have a flashbang? No, you have a flashbang. We might need that flashbang. Then again, I am just going to run and gun up anyway. But I'm not totally confident in my ability to deal 8 damage is the problem. I think we do have to go all in on this, unfortunately. I mean, we can still suppress. We can still suppress if this doesn't work. 
But I think we're pretty likely to kill it if we just toss an AP and then run and gun shotgun this thing in the face. So you toss your AP, Huerta. Oh, I was worried for nothing. I honestly, I, sh I, I was kind of debating just taking the shot and then, I was debating taking the shot and then just having Huerta HP, H AP, uh, AP the thing to death. Because then we get a kill on her and she'll level up. I don't think she's going to level up unless uh, we run into another pod this game. Alright, move up to Shinti and please pop this thing in its stupid face. Goodbye. Everything by the and that's it. Simple six alien mission. Continue. Not a single casualty among the entire squad. Oh, look at that. Uh, Huerta did actually get a promotion, even without any kills. I didn't know they earned XP if they didn't get kills. Uh, but everyone, uh, nevertheless, got leveled up except for Frazier, who did have a kill. And that's actually really disappointing, because she's kind of the one that I really did want to level up. Alright, so Vicente, uh, you can now get Close Combat Specialist, which is great for assaults. Always need that Close Combat Specialist on assaults. Mizuzi, uh, mm, plus 15 aim against flying targets, I mean, that'd be good. But once we get laser weapons, I mean, that's kind of... It's mostly negated anyway. I'm going to give you Lone Wolf just because it's going to be useful for the rest of the game and it's going to be useful in a lot of situations. Uh, Sin and Soir, what are you going to be? Uh, you have good aim. You have decent move. I think I'm going to make you another scout because we are low in the scout department. You could have been a sniper. You could have done it. Uh, but we do need more scouts. Uh, Morales, uh, you're going to get flush as all gunners get. And Miss Huerta, what are you going to be? Okay, well, this is pretty easy. You have decent move. You have good aim. And as much as I would like more assaults, I think we are too low in the infantry department. We, ha we do have four assaults. It's just that they're all injured right now. All right, I'm happy with that. Uh, we now have research on alien computers. Uh, we have a damaged flight computer and a damaged power source, which uh, normally kind of sucks, but that's good because we can sell that for money, and we need money early game. Uh, some alloys and Illyrium, and we got 20 meld. We did manage to save one of those canisters. So I'm pretty happy about that. Commander, we're receiving a transmission from the council. Coming on screen. Ooh, what is this? Ah, oh, bomb disposal. Okay. Uh, this is the bomb disposal. Which means that uh, next uh, next episode, we're gonna be meet, meet, meeting thin men. We're going to be dealing with Thin Men. That's going to be fun. On the bright side, uh, it sounds like next episode we're going to be finding out what difficulty I set this on. Uh, because if it's classic, Thin Men simply do not miss. They don't. But that'll be next episode. I will see you then.